A new rail tunnel under the Belgian Canal Dock Terminal is to provide additional access to the increasing cargo traffic in and out of the port of Antwerp. In order to build that tunnel, a 32 by 270 meter concrete slab will be protecting the shallow construction during drilling activities. Baycard offered an integrated reinforcement solution, including 600 tons of Dramic steel fibers and the required dosage equipment, completely cast according to specifications and within a tight time frame. The concrete slab reinforced by Baycard Dramics allows divers to work in the safest and most reliable conditions. Before we poured steel fiber concrete, we set up an extensive testing program. We asked the engineering department at the University of Braunschweig in Germany to perform a feasibility study for the project. We then carried out some tests to see how easy it was to pump, since we needed to pump the material over a distance of 250 meters. The mix was to be placed underwater and had to be self-leveling to set perfectly horizontally. The water here is 20 meters deep, so for an entire canal with constant commercial traffic, this is a serious undertaking. Before we started pouring concrete, we carried out months of desk studies together with the people at Baycard and our quality department. Firstly, to determine the dosage of steel fiber, and secondly, to work out the correct mix design to ensure the best possible quality and smooth pumping. When you drive a tunnel under this canal dock, one specific problem is that the tunnel is close to the surface on both sides. There are only a few hundred meters in it, but that means that the top of the tunnel and the base of the dock, the floor of the dock, are very close together. As a result, there may be too little counterweight to prevent uplift of the tunnel section. We use Dramix here because it's a very high-performance fiber. The University of Braunschweig also concluded that it's one of the best. The support we received in formulating the concrete and the expertise of the people who contributed to the project were also of crucial importance to the project's success. The original design included a big slab. We tried to reduce the thickness of the slab by using sheet piles and also ground anchors so that we could use steel fiber concrete to match the performance of traditional reinforcement. The success of this project depends on two important factors, logistics and quality. As far as logistics go, obviously when you're placing 14,000 cubic meters of concrete, you need to schedule a whole pre-delivery process involving both steel fiber and aggregate. We agreed a very tight delivery schedule with Baycart for the fibers and it was a success. In the short time between the decision to use steel fiber and the decision to work with Baycart, we also decided to work with 1100 kilogram big bags. It's obviously important to have those big bags delivered here, but then the material still has to be put into the concrete. That's why we used Baycart specifically. It was the only partner that could guarantee that we would be working with so-called insight machines and would have the steel fiber dosed automatically at the batching plant. I have to say that I was quite pleasantly surprised, both by the ease of control and by the consistency of the mix. And ook the constantheid van het mengsel. Today we are pumping concrete containing 35 kilos of steel fiber. We are using this special concrete and saving as much bar reinforcement as possible. We are pumping 300 cubic meters of concrete an hour using four concrete pumps. 
and discharging through a long 270-meter pipe into a floating system. Steel fiber was chosen simply because placing reinforcement under water is very difficult. Steel fiber concrete is fairly straightforward to pump, provided that you take the right approach. In other respects, it's quite an easy type of concrete, really. Placing it is easier than placing traditional reinforcement cages and pouring the slab in normal concrete. We cannot afford any breakdowns at all, which is why we get continuous backup from the people at Bakehart. We have replacement equipment, dosing equipment and spare parts. And there are always people on standby, just in case any problems might arise. We and Bakehart go back a long way and we've had some excellent experience with Bakehart fibre. We used it in the past at Potsdamer Platz. I looked after the underwater concrete operations in that project and I have to say that our delivery was 100% there too. I can honestly say that Bakehart's input with regard to dosage and delivery made for a very pleasant cooperation, which in turn contributed to the success of the entire project. Our cooperation with Bakehart was outstanding. It wasn't just about steel fiber. It meant finding a solution to a problem together. And we certainly felt that we received the necessary support there. This project is yet another phase in our fruitful cooperation. We're going to bring this to a successful conclusion, and it will certainly guarantee further cooperation in the future. I can certainly see a bright future for the Locobau project, because a tremendous volume was placed in a very short time and under very difficult circumstances.